Well, thank you, uh, Tristan, uh, for sharing uh, that song. Very raw song, very honest song. Um, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> um, appreciate you being part of the Identity Project and your contribution. contribution. Um, now, Tristan, there's a backstory behind that song, right? Um, As with most songs, yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, why, don't you, why, don't, why don't you tell us, your, your church family, just, yeah, what was going on in your life at that time you write this song? So, kind of like with uh, Noah's song, this song for me came out of uh, a bit of a dark place. Um, so when I was in high school, I started going through uh, these issues. I started having anxiety and depression, and I found out about my ADHD and all this, all these kind of problems that uh, complicated my experience. Um, once I left high school, I started feeling better, but um, as I started 2017, I started getting depressed again. And then um, this past winter, it was kind of the low point for me. Um, I got really bad. I, one night I drank way too much and, uh, to try to feel better. But, um, so then at the beginning of this year, when Matthew approached me about this project, um, I knew immediately I had to write about this because that's always what it's been for me. Music has helped me uh, get through all my dark times. Um, so I started writing a few songs. Um, and it was right when I started coming out of this really low point was when I, uh, when I wrote the song. So that's why... Um, as much as some of the uh, music and the imagery and the words are kind of dark, um, I tried to make sure there was hope in it because that's when I was wanting to believe in it most and when I was starting to see it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, um, no, thank you for your honesty on that and, uh, and sharing with, uh, with us. Um, and I think the title kind of expresses that rawness, right? Yeah. The miserable children. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was part of that. Like, I knew I had to believe that I'm one of God's children. And even though I may be really miserable, may be really sad that um, God still loves me, I'm still part of his family. So that's where that came from. Mm -hmm. And I see a kind of a, a refrain of trust in the song, eh? Yeah. And that comes through again and again. Um, can you tell us... You told me that this was the lowest point of your life back in January. Um, how did you hang on to God in the midst of that? How did you keep trusting? Because like I said, that kind of comes through in the, in the song. Yeah. So, I mean, when I first, had, uh, when I first went through depression, um, I pretty much stopped believing at that point. But um, in the times since then, I started growing more in the church. I started doing more up on stage. I uh, started going to a D group, um, discipleship group. Um, and I started just trying to become more involved. And I, as I did this, my faith got stronger and I believed more and more. And uh, so when I got to this time, I knew that I would get through this darkness, but I couldn't do it without God. Because I, so I just knew I had to, I had to trust in him that this would be all right, that this will all serve some purpose. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, thanks for your song. Thanks for being honest with, uh, with us, because we each have a journey, right, that we're going through various seasons, and maybe some can identify with, uh, with your song. So thank you for your contribution to the project, to our, uh, to our church family here. Thank you. Yeah, let's give uh, Tristan a hand.